Good morning everyone, Brian Turpak with Steelworks Strength Systems. We're going to take a look at three ways to improve your squat technique today. And the first thing we're going to look at is learning how to dig your toes into the ground and why that's important. By digging your toes into the ground, you're going to be activating more of your, the musculature in your feet. And that's going to radiate up into your legs, providing more strength and stability. So you're going to see a video of me here squatting without my shoes and socks so you can kind of see how my feet are moving. Um, take a look here. The hips are going back in good technique and whatnot, but the feet are uh, kind of wiggling up in the air and not too stable. So if we want to add a little bit more force to that squat, simply dig that big toe in. You'll notice that the arch uh, gets a little bit higher, and that's signifying that my feet are more active. With more active feet, you're going to get a little bit more power in your squat. Okay, now naturally when we squat, we want to push the hips back and load those hips before the knees. The only problem is that sometimes when we excessively push those hips back, the torso inclines too far forward, and that leaves us uh, in a really dangerous position to be pinned under the bar when we're in the bottom of the hole, specifically when we're doing high bar back squats or even low bar back squats. So um, a, a great little cue to think about is to think about as you're descending, let those knees glide right over the toes. So if we take a look at this, there in this position, the knees are gliding right over the toes. The hips do go back first. Now if we look here, the hips are being pushed back way too far. Notice the inclination of the torso. Okay, And now we're going to go back to knees going over the feet. Torso stays much more upright. And last but not least, uh, th something you might not even really consider is the positioning of your head and your neck while you're squatting. Anytime that we put the neck into flexion, our spinal erectors, that big chain of muscles running up and down our back, tends to relax a little bit. And as a result, if a muscle is more relaxed, you're not going to be able to get as much power out of that. So if we look at our setup here, the head should be neutral, which it is in this particular case. Now, look at what happens when the neck flexes. So we don't want that neck to flex up. Notice how the eyes are kind of looking straight up. We go back to a little bit of a more secure position. Head stays more neutral and in line with the spine. It's a really, really small piece, um, but it's a very, very important piece towards maximizing power in your squat. If you've got any questions about squatting or anything related to the old exercising, please don't hesitate to email me at brian at steelworkstrength.com. Hope you have a wonderful Tuesday.